it's an opportunity for educators to come and learn a lot more about uh, outdoor education, especially as it uh, pertains to our young kids. It's a great opportunity to network and learn a lot more skills and collect some resources. And it really supports our pillar for enhancing our outdoor education experience. The focus for our session is on curriculum in the outdoors. So we really were trying to be intentional about materials we might set up and what connections we could make to curriculum um, in all grades because we know that uh, lots of things can be modified so we can get deeper into learning. Um, so we've set up some things for um, math and some things for science, some drama, some, some art. Um, and structure building and things like that so that kids can explore and, and by kids we mean the adults today who we've positioned as kids. It's really great to see them coming out on a Saturday and learning about the great outdoors. It's really important for our students to be able to get outside. It's uh, really great for their wellness and well-being and the fact that uh, uh, teachers are learning more about it and getting out more often in all kinds of weather whether it's snowing, raining or otherwise is a great thing so we're really uh, we're really pr proud of the, uh, the staff that come out and, and uh, take on this event. I found out about this through a ministry um, initiative last year and a member of this board had told me about it. This is my second event that I've been here uh, and I think it's absolutely amazing the opportunity to work outside all day um, and just having the opportunity to share with other people their experiences as well that I can take back to my board and hopefully one day we'll be able to do something like this as well. Today I did an, a, a workshop on taking assessment outside and there's three things that I look at with assessment. I want it to be fun, I want it to be diverse and I want it to be consistent. So today I did an exercise where we had, where students or the teachers had to go around and answer questions. So they had to find the questions, they had to use the, man, the manipulatives and they had to use the area around us. Sticks, leaves, rocks, uh, grass, pine needles, whatever there is to express or show how they've answered a question. So for example, we did an activity where we had to do like five times seven. So they had to go out into the forest and they had to find the items that represented five times seven. I really want students to be involved in their learning and have fun with it. And I feel so doing it physically instead of sitting at a desk with pen and paper really allows them to, to connect with what they're learning. Today we're uh, learning how to sprout um, and grow microgreens. Uh, some of the healthiest, nutritious, easiest uh, little foods you can grow um, from any, any age group from kindergarten to, uh, through to high school. The students are a little scared at first to try it. They, they're like, oh this is, this is a seed, this is, it's got a tail on it, uh, it looks nutritious, I don't want it. Uh, add some uh, really nice cheese, some crackers and then they get right into it and then you do this program again of another week and they're into it. So I've been coming to these events for a little while but I came in the fall and uh, I guess I was new in um, my classroom and I came to the fall, the fall seminar and I listened to some people talk about their classes and the wonderful things they were doing and I said well I can do that. So I um, went back to school and I talked to my principal because if you're planning to spend every day like an hour outside you better talk to them. Um, and he's so supportive and wonderful and so it changed everything about how we do things in my classroom. We're an outdoor learning class. We spend um, between 40 minutes and an hour every day outside and we do all of our learning through all subjects outside at least once a day. And then uh, my students responded so well and um, it's just a wonderful thing. These events are such a great way to meet people and network with other schools, teachers from other boards, educators from other schools. It's a really awesome day to come and learn about new things that you can do in your classrooms, how you can take different subjects to the outdoors and how to incorporate various programming aspects into the curriculum and make connections to anything outside. Uh, this is my second year coming here and uh, we've learned so many things for outdoor education. We were doing sprouting this morning, that was pretty exciting. So um, growth and nature and that you can eat what you grow. Um, then we were on to um, stem things, so we were creating kites and and just things to get the kids outside to play, like building and designing and the technology it takes to put it together and the thought process and then taking the time to reflect on that and how you can modify it and fix it up.